James, who are your main fancies? Uh, well, Rotherham are all the rage. They're into about seven to two, and uh, having spent a lot of money, and with uh, Steve Evans there, who was obviously at, at Moneybags Crawley last season. But um, I, I like the look of Torquay much further down the list. I mean, they they narrowly missed out on automatic promotion last season, then lost in the playoffs, and they've lost a couple of influential players. But I think Martin Ling's recruited really well. They've got a, a great setup down there, good spirit, and. Um, I think at around kind of 25 to 1, they're a fantastic each way back. Um, experienced manager, and they finished like a train, didn't they? They did, they did. They were uh, excellent defensively last season. They've um, uh, got Billy Bowden, who's an exciting young player at that level, in as well. And um, yeah, they've just got a really nice balance, kind of experience, youth, and, and as you said, a, a good manager. About 25 to 1, a good each way poke there. Mark, who are your fancies? Yeah, I'm looking to oppose Rotherham as well. I'm going to go for South End. I think that they're a team that. You know, were probably the best side that didn't go up last season, finished fourth in the in the division, then lost out in the playoffs to crew, went up um, you know, via the playoffs. They seem to have kept most of their key parts intact for the time being. Um, I think they've signed pretty well as well. They've got a lot of firepower, which I don't think can be said for all the teams sort of, you know, that are up there towards the top of the betting. So it, I always think really that the teams actually that miss out, just miss out, are often underrated by sort of the, the sexier teams, the ones that are spending all money and, you know, the, the newly promoted teams and stuff like that. But really, if you have a look at it, Southend were the best team in that division last season that didn't go up. And I think at the prices, around about 16 to 1, I expect them to definitely be you know, in the top seven. And it could well be that I think they're each way a really good bet. I mean, 13 away wins last season, that's an impressive statistic, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, they haven't got to add that much to their home form, really, because that's where they drop points. And that's easier to, you know, it's, it's much easier to suddenly refine you know, your best form at home. I think that Paul Sturrock's one of the best managers in League Two, if not the best used used to managing at a higher level. There has been a suggestion that maybe money's, money could be an issue there and they might have to sell one or two players, but they've got some real emerging talent like Kane Ferdinand. He's one to watch this season. Brought back Freddie Eastwood. and you know, there, There's plenty of goals in this team. Neil Harris, of course, has been around for, for years and years. So the, Elliot Benyon as well, another one you know, who can score goals at this level. So I think that he's got options in forward positions and that's what I always look out for when I'm looking to back a team over the course of a season. Yeah, I'll be looking at a team that I think, who also went close last year, lost in the playoff final. Cheltenham have been too easily dismissed, I think, at 28 to 1. I mean, they were 150 to 1 last year when they got into the playoff final. And um, they've brought Sean Howard in, who's a proven goal scorer at, this, yeah, uh, at that level, and I think they could go well. So, James, Torquay for you? Yep. Yeah, and South End for me. Yeah. All, all trips to the seaside. <laughs> yeah. We'll all want some Cheltenham winners this year, and the Robins could do the business for me in League 2.